I grew up in Auburn, went to Auburn University, and uh, later on went to graduate school and became a faculty member at other universities and was really away from the community for quite a, three decades. Moved back in 2009 and uh, I was surprised at all the changes and all the controversies and whatever. And as I began to look at uh, what I saw, I felt that uh, I could make a contribution to trying to solve some of the problems that I see. I think there's been a breakdown in trust and confidence in uh, city government. There's just lots of people upset. And uh, I think to get people to work together to move forward, you just essentially have to have that trust and confidence. So I think starting with that. And then I think that we have been kind of uh, not grand enough in our vision and not been active enough in, in trying to think big ideas and be innovative. Uh, we just do some great things, but I think we could do more. One of the things I think we've really got to, to do quickly, if we can, is improve our retail situation. Uh, right now, um, uh, retail sales taxes account for about half of the city's budget. And what's happened, because so much of the retail is in Opelika, uh, we sort of fallen behind the power curve and as new retailers move here they want to be where the traffic is and the other stores and that's in Opelika and we're falling behind terribly so one of the things that I would part of my vision would be to establish some new major shopping type destination in Auburn that keeps some of those sales tax dollars here in town and also just makes it more convenient for people to shop and keeps our dollars here in our own community rather than exporting them to Opelika. One thing that I would like to see is more sort of town gown, better town gown relations. And uh, I think in this whole conundrum about student housing, uh, one of the kind of missing pieces of the puzzle here to me has been the ultimate consumer of that, is that students and their parents. And uh, I'd like to better understand what students feel they need and, and what are their preferences in housing. I feel that 65 feet, to be clear about one thing, the former standard is satisfactory. Uh, what happens is these developers come to town and they say, we can't make our numbers work. We can't make the pro forma, it's called, it, how much money they're going to be able to make on the investment work without going to 75 feet. Frankly, I don't believe this. And I believe that our leadership has been very weak and flaccid in the face of these demands. And they just need to sometimes say, no, go back, sharpen your pencil and find a way to make this happen. We don't want to be unfriendly or resisting developers. We, we may need some stu in student housing in Auburn, but I think we also need to think about the character of the community downtown, and I just think 65 feet is, is plenty enough, and if a particular developer says we can't do it in 75, we need, or 65, we need 75, I would say, fine, go to Athens, or go to Columbia, Missouri, or Gainesville, Florida. We're gonna find, Auburn is too attractive a community. We have too great a community, too great a students and faculty, and townspeople that we're going to get we're going to get what we need to meet our needs here. One of the interesting aspects of this thus far is that I've had a lot of people call me and want to meet have coffee and uh, I've gotten to meet a lot of people uh, that I haven't met in the 10 years that I've been back here and uh, so this has been great and there I can assure you there are a lot of people in Auburn that want to see change in our government and uh, so that, that's, that's been very encouraging and, and it's very positive.